Hello and good afternoon. Nope, oh, good morning. This is Michael Plana Hyundai, and I'm excited because we have an Ionic 5 here. Uh, I know this car is already pre sold, and someone's making fun of me inside. This car is already pre sold, and I'll be honest, we have gotten uh, somewhere between 30 and 50 Ionic requests a month on these cars. Uh, everything's going to get pre sold. Uh, I know a lot of people like I like to come drive one uh, before I commit to it. We might get one of these a month, and a big question people have is limited. When's the limited going to be here? Uh, we might not have limiteds in production till the end of this year. So I'm doing this video now uh, just because we have one. We can actually look at it. Uh, full disclosure, I know nothing about this car. Uh, we're just going to play with it, and we're going to take a peek at it. Um, first thing that I think is really cool is it does have those like Tesla handles, and when I hit unlock, na 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 na, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't make you want to buy a car, what's going to make you want to buy a car? Uh, let's look at it. Uh, these wheels are funky. Uh, Hyundai has not used these wheels before, so this is not a uh, just a reuse. Uh, I bet this is the fuel door, or the not fuel, but see, I don't know what I'm doing, folks. Wait, hold on. Oh, look at that! This is crazy! Uh, I guess it's got most of a Tetris. That's how charged it is. Uh, that was dope. Let's see. I don't know if it'll close on its own. Probably not. Oh, look at that! Alright. I assume... There is not a trunk button. There is a horn button, which is kind of weird. Honk for horn. Um, let's do this. Is it automatic? I can't tell. I don't think so. I see this car as like a, it's almost like a hatchback. Um, I think it's the same size as, it's bigger than the Kona, right? You have a Kona. This is bigger? Uh, it's about the same size. Maybe a little bit smaller. Um, it looks like a, this is a, this is kind of a solicitation for VW. It kind of looks like a VW All Road or like a Jetta Wagon. Let's see here. Obviously, like I said, limiteds aren't here. I don't even know what trim level this is. Yeah, you're right, Brent. These are new. This is their their lights, their brake lights, and do it again. Yeah, beep, no beep it. That's cool. It's got parking sensors on it. Let's see what trim level this is. This is an SE, so that's going to be probably the base, base, base. Uh, and it comes with parking sensors, which is pretty wild. Let me see if it has. Yeah, let me see if it has. Any packages on it? I don't think so. I think this is SE all-wheel drive. That is a thing. They're all-wheel drive. Um, that's pretty awesome. Kona Electric, not all-wheel drive. So this is Hyundai's first crack at the full EV all-wheel drive. Um, 98 combined uh, highway MPG E. I'll be honest, folks. I don't even really know what the E stands for. I know it's electric. There's no gallons, so I'm not really sure. I think it's the equivalent. Driving range is what people care about. It says uh, an eight and a half hour charge time gets you 260 miles. Um, this is awesome. All right, let's look inside. Hey, it's full of wrappers because we just because we just unwrapped it. That's funny. Hop on in there. You can hold the mic and just look around. So yeah, basically we have the fun. We get to peel it. This yeah, we get to peel it. This is what a car looks like when it comes from the factory, folks. This is the, the very meticulously placed wrappers. Ooh, I like the two-tone. So yeah, since this is an SE, it will be cloth. But you gotta breathe in that new car smell. <laughs> Look at those are USB speed chargers, I think. I think those are fast charging USBs. Like uh, I forget what they call that, but the USB C speed charger. Um, we will clean this up. Don't worry. I want to see into the hood real quick because I just don't even know what it looks like. And then we'll finish inside. 
Let's see the front, I guess. I just popped it, so oh, that looks super Tesla. Uh, yeah, I mean, that looks super Tesla. It's like got a Cybertruck feel without... I mean, show, Brent, show this one and then show the Santa Cruz. Because you can see, like, there's the, the futuristic versus their second most recent car. Um, they're not trying to blend in with this car. This is a standout car. Yeah. I don't know. Let's look at the hood. <laughs> I have no clue what it looks like. There's probably not much to see here. Um, let's open it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> this is a uh, this is legit storage. Uh, wow, okay. That there's a battery down there. You can jump. Let me see. I don't really want to take it all apart, but yeah, I mean, that's where you put your, uh, I don't even know what you put in there. That's really funny. <laughs> it's nice that it doesn't have a prop. Uh, here, I'll go inside. Yes. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wave to David. Hey, David. All right. Uh, before I turn it on, let's just, uh. Holy cow, this is like, I hate to say it, it's, but this is like Tesla. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, there's no column here because um, these things do dual motor, so motor in front, motor in the back normally. So there's no, um, uh, there's no drive shaft that would then go to a transfer case. Um, here, let me hold, I'll just show what I see. Uh, super fancy it's very minimalistic which i dig that's just what i like though let's start it up probably won't sound like anything ready to drive kudos hyundai for making a volume knob very nice uh nav damn this is the base this has a nav uh yeah navigation menu EV charging stations. Let's see. How cool is that? That's cool for base. That's really cool. Um, it's in shipping mode, so that means this car has not been PDI'd yet. PDI is uh, an acronym for pre-delivery inspection. That's when they put in the fuses and put all the additional fuel in. Let's see this. We got a backup camera. It. It's got parking sensors, which is pretty sweet. Um, the fact that it has Navi on the base is pretty rocking. Um, go back to, yeah, so the Nav stays, that's the Genesis, uh, that's how Genesis rolled out, where they have the Nav that stays current, and then the map, um, map button. <laughs> da -da. let's see, um, uh, probably no heated, uh, I imagine at a certain point, if I turn this down it'll crank the motor up a little but uh let's see um this is a speaker for sure it's got the what's the thing that it's got the um speedo reader so it says speed limit it has it comes with navigation does that okay so it's part of the sensing suite so i got drive mode here so i got sport eco normal there is snow mode uh which i know that came out with the santa fe uh, when they remodeled that two years ago. Uh, this is pretty fascinating. Um, we're just going to drive it around the parking lot. Okay. Oh, I don't want to like... So is it... Oh. Uh, okay, so... Oh, it's a twist, I think. It's yeah. a twist. Gear already selected. Let's try... Yep, I have a D there. You're going to think I'm running away with it. We are, technically. So let me hold it. I just want you to see the, the HUD drive. I promise I'm looking at the road. This is really cool. I'm going to hand this back to you so I don't, you know, get into a fender bender on the first moments. Uh, let's see. It's very quiet. Accelerates really nicely. I mean, it if you've driven a Tesla or an electric car, this is how it drives, where it's 
just gonna put my foot in it real quick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's an electric car. Oh. Um, it's mad at me because I'm not wearing a seatbelt. Shame. I apologize to my wife. Uh, very responsive. Really. Let's just put a little scoot in it. This is cool. The steering wheel feels nice. Like it actually has like like a texture to it. It's like I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, I'm smiling. It's fun. It's fun to drive a car that puts a smile on my face. I've been driving cars for ten years. So we're, it's this twisty. You get a view on this. This is pretty wild. This little twist, funky eye. Backup cam with parking sensors. You can show that, Bryn. I have no excuse if I smash into the showroom. Let people see those sensors here. Cool. Park will be probably... No. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna silence it. It's gonna be mad at me. And I was mad at you. Alright. We're not gonna silence it. Um, let's just go walk around it real quick. Power off. It's gonna... USB up front. It's got oh, it's got a lot of USBs. So we got five USBs. And let's see. Looking at the seats. This is just a nice looking car. I have no clue. I don't even know what this car costs. Let's go look at the sticker. All right. SE, all-wheel drive, sticker price, MSRP, 49140 So, it's a $50,000 car, um, $49,000. This is a nice car. In the past, you know, we would get... An SE is Hyundai's base level. That's just the way that it is. And obviously, uh, I've never, we've never had a fully electric car before, you know. Uh, we've had some uh, plug-in hybrids. We've had... Or excuse me, we never had an electric uh, all-wheel drive car. So this is a big statement for Hyundai. This is a nice product. Um, wheels are huge, actually. Look at these wheels. Uh, what size are these? These are 19-inch wheels. 235 wide. Yeah. These are Michelins. This is a nice car. So... Uh, you probably cannot come down here and drive it. Somebody owns this car. You'll notice I didn't really take it out of the, on the road. Uh, these are going to be in tremendously high demand and tremendously short supply. So we recommend, how, how do I buy one? How do I buy one? Now that we have a pipeline that's coming in, um, there are people who have said, hey, I want to be on your list. I want to be on your wait list. When you send that email in, we put you on a list and we uh, give you to a salespeople that will follow up with you and say, hey, this car coming. But uh, truth be told, uh, it's not going to be like a library where you can browse. It's going to be, hey, this one's here. Would you like to buy? Excuse me, not here. This one's going to be here. Would you like to buy it? Uh, and having driven it, uh, this is a sweet ride. And um, I think people are going to be pretty happy with this. So uh, exciting we could be here. Can I have the keys just so I can do the little door thingy as we sign off? This is my sign-off sign. Boom. Have a good one.